Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd do a video that is obviously very relevant to what is currently going on. There's no way there's gonna be even a single person watching this that doesn't know about coronavirus. It is everywhere you look and it is freaking a lot of people out, understandably. I can completely understand people's fear, especially if you are vulnerable or someone you know is vulnerable to it. But we also have to remember that this is a very easy thing for our brain to go overload on. And by that, I mean, we will make it bigger than it is in our heads. Me and my friend were talking about it last night. And I think the weirdest thing to me is the fact the whole world is like suddenly relating on something we've all kind of come together in something it doesn't happen that often where like it's literally an international everyone is talking about the same thing and that is quite scary because the world is a very big place but if you look at numbers there is a lot more people die from like the common flu pneumonia cancer suicide at the moment everything's so uncertain and everyone is like freaking out but this is gonna get easier it is gonna calm down and it definitely is being blown up probably more than necessary although i do understand in some circumstances why it's being so blown up anyway everyone is self-isolating or practicing social distancing if you're not there will probably come a point where you're gonna need to so i thought i would make a short five item list of things we can do while we're at home self-isolating you've probably heard all of these there's literally ideas everywhere as to what we can do but here is my list <laughs> number one take up a new hobby quite Quite often we will all talk about something we want to take up, whether it be art, an instrument, journaling, but you're too caught up in school or you don't have the time, or when you do have time off, you're going out with friends or whatever, there's many reasons why people forget about them. We've got the perfect time now to take up those hobbies and learn a new skill. So if you have been wanting to learn an instrument or take up art, this is a really good time to do that. The second thing on my list is revamp your room. I'm doing this, I'm gonna change my wallpaper, I might change my bed. I'm just like having a revamp in my room, which I was gonna do anyway, but it's actually a really good thing to do while you're stuck in it because you'll be in your room so much it'll probably get boring quite quickly so it might be nice to just change it up or if you're like me and you've had the same kind of style of room for a while it's nice to experiment with a new style number three which is something i've been really enjoying doing with my friends is netflix party which is something that's just come out i'm not sure who invented it pretty much it's an extension you add on to google chrome where you can stream netflix films and series with your friends you basically set up a server you get a url send the url to your friends and then they can all join on and you can all watch this film together and there's like a chat room on there so you can chat at the same time it's fucking brilliant i will leave the link down below it is a really good option number four is obviously really simple just stay in touch with your friends it's so important to stay social even if you can't see them in real life facetime text call and iMessage games are really fun i mean i play them a lot anyway with my friends but this is a good time to do that and number five is do the tasks you've been putting off we all have a list of tasks that we want to get done but we just don't find the time or can't be asked this is a good time to get them done and with so much free time on your hands if you don't have tasks you've been putting off then you can probably find some <laughs> you can still be social with your friends i mean everyone's off school so netflix party is great and tiktok is entertaining nevertheless make sure if you're like an anxious person around all of this not to be too checky on the news apps because they can definitely over exaggerate and they can make it seem so much bigger than it is and that's not really good if you're an overthinker like me but let's hope this all calms down soon and until then let's keep ourselves busy with stuff indoors there's still so much you can do inside Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, hit the thumbs up button and leave your suggestions of what to do down below for me and everyone else to see. And I'll see you all next time. Mwah. Goodbye.